Okay, Mark, are you ready to check out our new Learn to Drive app? We'll test it here in the classroom before we take it out on the road. Okay, I'm game, but what's so special about your app? So I use machine learning, so what it does is it adapts its instructions to your driving behaviors. Now just pretend to drive like you normally would. Okay, here goes. Look out! You almost hit that old lady crossing the street. What old lady? The one you almost hit. There's no old lady. We're in a classroom. My app is already adapting to your driving behaviors. What did it do? It classified you as a belligerent driver, probably prone to road rage. Looks like machine learning has me pegged, and it's helping search for Google, too. Here's why. So Eric, machine learning is an area we hear a lot about these days, and people speculate quite a bit about how Google might be using it. So what are your thoughts on that? Oh, hit me with a big topic, why don't you? Look, seriously, the key insight is that machine learning is just a tool, all right? It's not something that magically changes the world that we live, with, live in. And just because Google has such a tool doesn't mean that their objectives have changed. So we need to think about what their goals are. So let's talk about that. The big goals are, improve user satisfaction, maintain market share uh, so they can continue to grow as the market grows. And that's really kind of it in the, in, in the end. Yeah, well, that's a great overview, but I know I've heard you share way more specific ideas about how they might be actually applying machine learning. And? And why don't you share some of those? Oh, right, yes. I think there are two major areas they're investing in right now, based on what we've seen from clients and other sites out there. Uh, first, improving their understanding of a user's query intent, i.e. when someone enters in a search query, what is it that they're actually looking for? And then, finding the best content to match that intent. These are the areas where I see major shifts happening in the results these days. Well, can you expand a bit more on the query intent part? Sure. Traditional algos were highly reliant on matching keywords on the pages with the query. And that does remain an important part of the um, process. You kind of think of it as table stakes to be identified as being potentially re uh, relevant to a topic. But the way it's being done today is a bit different. And it looks to me like Google is doing much more to figure out user intent in two areas. One, looking at past query response history to see what has worked for users and what hasn't. And based on this query history, they can see what users have responded to most in the results and then adapt the results for new additions of that query going forward. And two, generating more data for the point I just made through testing different types of search results, i.e. trying one kind of search result, seeing how that performs, then trying another one and, and doing that through dynamic testing and seeing what works. I've seen tons of evidence in recent shifts in the results that looked like they were clearly uh, driven by changes in interpretation of user intent. So what about the way they're using machine learning to find the best content? Well, I have to admit, I'm still working on scoping this out better. But what I see is Google rewarding deep content experiences on sites far more than they used to. So, sites that go extra deep in addressing user needs with content to cover many aspects of a topic seem to be doing very, very well today. And that may be because Google is getting better at understanding the nuances of content and at the same time is getting better at understanding nuances of what content matches the user's query intent. Mm -hmm. And perhaps this may also be a result of a lot of active testing on their part. Well, thanks, Eric. Now, if you enjoyed this episode of Here's Why, we have plenty more for you. Be sure to subscribe so you'll get every new weekly edition. Now, how's that machine learning driving app you were working on? Well, I've been working on some upgrades. Let's go back to the driving classroom and test it. Okay, Mark, we cleared your previous session for my Learn to Drive machine learning app. You've got a clear slate. Want to try again? Thank you. That app judged me unfairly, and I'm sure I'll do better this time. Proceed. Wait, wait. I'm afraid the app says you failed again. What? I just started. What does it say this time? You're out of gas.